everybody, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Now, I've made the picture even better by upping the brightness on my TV, so if that helps, just let me know. I'll do it more often if it needs me. But for now, let's get right back into where we left off today. We are going to end all Apple addictions. And we are not going to screw up once. Now, I knew that I was missing a couple secret areas. And one of them just so happens to be in this level. So, other than the actual freaking death area that I missed, it's not in not in that area at all. So, it has something to do with these little seed turlets. Something to do with these losers. Power and fear. Power and fear. It has something to do with that. It's like way at the end. I'm also going to try to get both the gems so that we don't have to worry about that later on. Until me doing something in the secret area, so let's save both of those. Oh boy. Power and fear. There we go. So what I don't want to do is die. If I don't die, I can carry my stuff over into the other area. Also, they told me there was a secret legend here that I missed. With some extra lives on it, and I'm not doing too bad. But considering how many I had to begin with, yeah, I could do a lot better. And it has something to do with this. Boink, boink. There we go. Perfect. And that's like a hundred apples and four extra lives, so just hope that helps. Is, but how they told me to do it was take this route first and then backtrack it. Now I really dislike backtracking. The only other time that I remember having to backtrack in Crash Bandicoot was way back at the beginning when we were doing that one level with the two pathways and I really wanted to get the gem and the crystal at the same time. I'm 
just going to assume the worst and say it doesn't let me in. Also, the only thing that I'm missing is the purple gem, and some I well looked it up. It's in the last level of this warp room. They said there was a fake box that I was able to hop on. See that sign right there? Behaven. That's purple gem symbol. So let's get right to cold hard. No, it's not what I wanted to do. This is the level I hate. Fine. Let's go through the horror first. We. Well, I remember completely what I hate about this level, and you guys should fear this level. Cold Hard Crash is a bitch. starts to get into more suck. This area. You can see it's already ramping up like a son of a bitch. Ooh. And you just get that. Half down there. Now, what's sad about this level is that I got past the entire thing, and it's 120-ish some boxes, and I ended up missing one. You know where it is? Right there. And it's full crap. Because 
you have to hit the exclamation thing. And it's this one right here. Oh, wait. Now I gotta backtrack successfully all the way back to the. And here. Oh, no! Good thing the checkpoint is outside right next to it. And if you die inside of it, it doesn't close. So what you want to do is get in there. Now I don't have any masks to do this with, and this is going to be severe bullcrappery without any masks. That's why you really want to do this the first time. and enemies that you can avoid. No! Okay, at least I hit a checkpoint. I'm going back at the beginning here. Doing it. Gems in one. That's why it was so hard. 
You can return back to the beginning of the non-death level after you get to the end because the death platform will still be there for you to return. And once you have all the boxes in there, you're supposed to go back. What, what made the level so difficult for me was I was trying to do both gems in once. So it was like a double whammy of either succeed once or die trying. And it was like a go forward, hit the exclamation mark, grab the thing, go. Then I had to go forward and get the gem. Then head back once again, trying not to die, and then complete the level solemnly. And because the checkpoint appears before the level, unless you can get to the end of the area without dying, you're out of luck. That's what gave me so much trouble in that level. Death, get my way, little turtle. I don't want to be in this level for more than I have to be. Die. Get out of here. What? Never mind, you can stay alive for luck. Oh boy!
tree log one, and then I jumped into the nitro that I knew was there. I was trying to avoid both, but clearly it was either getting crushed or blown up. And if it were me, I would have rather had a quick and painful explosive death than, uh, oh my god, all my bones and limbs just got crushed under one fatal thing. It's going to be made even harder because I haven't killed that hedgehog. And if I know anything about luck, it's that when I need it, I don't have it. And when I don't need it, I got the best of it. Like when I play rock, paper, scissors. Looking at you, Dante. Checkpoint, please. Yeah, baby! Now it's only smooth sailing from here on out, so kill.
go in, I'm going to search every nook and cranny. I'm going to leave no stone unturned. I should probably search the war room. I don't even know if boxes can appear in the war room. What is that? Is that like a... Bruh! Crash has a new tunnel to explore. I'm going to leave no stone unturned when I'm looking for these. I'm not going to let anything get away from me. At all. Except I have no clue where I could have missed one. Are you serious? quite a few of those in this level. Ow. I needed that. Four. 
wood lag. They get rid of the scenery when I'm not nearby it. But if I'm close, you can hear it. Anything about there. Boom! Death! No! No! Chance, otherwise it's gonna be a burden. I'm gonna call him Burden the Hedgehog. Die, Burden the Hedgehog. See? I needed to complete it. 
Oh boy. I'm pretty sure I did not miss any. Now with that feeling tucked in, tucked in my pocket and tucked it deep. Let's go finish this. Keep it to yourself, Colmar and Fresh. I'm not losing this time. that isn't enough. I don't think I got them all. Thread the needle that time. Just making sure there could have been some up there. for this episode this has been crash bandicoot episode six and we'll see you next time